Hi, I want to talk about cost behavior, not how they act around people or whatever, but how they act according to the activity that they are helping produce. So we want to talk about variable, fixed, and mixed cost. They behave differently. Now this is not their function, which is what we've been studying before. We're going to talk about how they behave. So the first one we have that we talk about is variable cost. On a per unit basis, the variable cost stays constant. So that means if we are making a chocolate chip cookie, the chocolate chips for one cookie cost 40 cents. That's a lot of chocolate chips. For two cookies, it would cost 80 cents. So the 40 cents is per cookie. And that would always stay the same. 40 cents, 40 cents, 40 cents, no matter how many units we make. Does that make sense? In total, though, it, they would vary. So they would have a positive slope, and they would increase. Like the 40 cents was one cookie, the 80 cents was two, and so forth. So that's the graphs for the variable cost. Now, fixed costs are different. They stay the same no matter what we produce. So what's an example of a fixed cost? Rent, salaries, we have to pay that even if we don't produce anything or sell anything. So in total, the fixed cost looks a lot like that variable cost line. Now these are linear. You could have curvilinear in cases, but we're talking about linear. The fixed cost stays the same. Rent is $100 whether we use the place or not. But over spreading it over units, the more we use it, the more that fixed cost per unit goes down. Now we don't really talk much about this graph right here. But we can tell when we analyze cost, if when the activity changes and the fixed costs change, that mean, and the fixed fix cost per unit change, then it looks like a fixed. The last one we talk about is a little different. It's variable cost. I mean, mixed, sorry. It's variable and fixed. A mixed cost has a component of both. So it used to be like a utility like cell phones. A lot of utilities work like this. Whether you use it or not, you have a base amount. But then the more you use it, the more it costs per minute or whatever. So it's a combination of both. So in total, the graph looks like this. There's a fixed portion, and then it, it looks like a variable portion on top of it. In a per unit, it's a flatter line on a per unit basis. So when you're analyzing these costs, you can tell if you've got them per unit, and all you have to do is take the total and divide it by unit, or you've got them in total, you can eliminate which costs they are. And in general, in accounting, what we're going to deal with in managerial accounting is these three types, so six different behaviors, or three different, six different graphs. Okay, ready to tackle the next one? Let's stop here.